So I'm driving the dinghy today. I rarely drive the dinghy because I'm always filming, but I decided I wanted to get a little bit more experience, so it is my day to drive the dinghy. So we're doing well. We got a boat coming towards me, actually. No problem. Cruising around in this small boat is one of the pups' favorite things to do. They love the smells, they love the wind in their fur, they love the sound of the water splashing beside them. And seeing their excitement and happiness always brings a smile to my face. We head out of Baltimore Harbor and pass by Baltimore Harbor Lighthouse, then Sandy Point Shoal Lighthouse, and finally Thomas Point Shoal Lighthouse. Yes, that's three lighthouses before turning into the South River and then into Harness Creek where we plan to anchor for several days. The first lighthouse we pass by is Baltimore Harbor Lighthouse. It was the last lighthouse to be built in the Chesapeake and is an octagonal brick house on a caisson foundation that has a focal height of 52 feet. It became the world's first nuclear-powered lighthouse in 1964 when a small isotopic generator was installed in it. The nuclear generator was replaced two years later with an electric generator. It was purchased in 2006 for $260,000 by a partnership of four couples. The second lighthouse we pass by is Sandy Point Shoal Lighthouse. It is a square timber and masonry house on a caisson foundation and has a focal height of 51 feet. The house appears to have eight sides because the corners have been truncated. It was purchased by a private buyer in 2006 for $250,000. As we pass by, we can see that the lighthouse is covered with scaffolding, so it appears that the current owners are renovating it. Jim admires the eastbound and westbound bridges that make up the Bay Bridge. As we head south on the Chesapeake, it will be several hours before we pass by the third lighthouse. The third and final lighthouse that we pass by is Thomas Point Shoal Lighthouse. It is a one and a half story wooden cottage on a screw pile foundation with a focal height of 43 feet. It is the only screw pile foundation lighthouse in the U.S. that stands at its original site. It is currently preserved through the efforts of a public partnership. So we are now in the South River we headed south today. We passed how many lighthouses? We passed uh, three beautiful lighthouses. Some of them are old, some of them are in fairly good order. They all look like they were being renovated to some degree. And Jim was wonderful and skilled in getting us extremely close to all three of the lighthouses. So that was really a joy to see them up close. So what's going on in the South River? What are we doing here? We are going to uh, go up to a park. Quiet Adolf. Waters Park. Okay. It has a number of trails which we can take the dogs on leash and it also has a dog park at Dog Beach. We are anchored in Harness Creek, just off the South River, right next to Quiet Waters State Park. This is what our bottom is. All these oyster shells. You were saying when you put the anchor in, it felt it crunchy. Was, while we were dragging our chain and, and pulling it around, it did feel crunchy. Yeah. It's probably lots of oyster shells. What do you think, guys? You ready for a nice long walk? So when we're off the main paths, we like to try to train the dogs to keep within sight distance of us. Yeah, I go backpacking with the dogs and it's always nice to let them be off leash. And they like to lead, but they also, if trained, will only go as far up as maybe 100, 200 feet and keep looking back. So we're constantly letting them off leash 
One at a time. Especially in areas where there may be other people around. One of the things that I learned to do early on when I was going backpacking with the dogs is we come to a, a fork in the trail <laughs> and they would always want to lead and go and always build a um, question in their mind is no matter which trail I was going to go on I always took the one opposite of the one they took <laughs> so that they learned when there was a They felt a, a little anxious. Well and, and ultimately what happens is when they come to each V or each fork they'll stop and wait to see which way you go because if you keep going the opposite way they get frustrated and it's like I'm not doing this any longer. Yeah, that's so. fun when uh, Nubis does that and so does Moco where they come up to a V and they'll stop sometimes because they don't know which way you're going. Yeah. Nuala isn't quite as good at it as the other two dogs are, but she is learning. Yeah, she's doing very well today. Yes. I always kind of dread letting her off because she can be a little bit uh, um, <laughs> ener too energetic. And she's always looking for water. Right, yeah. She's always looking to uh, put her belly in water to cool off. Good boy, Mocha. That's why you're off leash. It's a nice view. I think so. Yeah, it's very pretty. Oh, you keep walking? Yeah. There's the birds chirping. This is pretty, all the moss. Nuba skips the bridge. Numala, Jim, and Mocha take the bridge. <laughs> Happened to bond a snake. That does not look Nubis good. Nubis wants it. We gotta find a way for the dogs to cross without upsetting Nubis the snake. Nubis she wants it. She's to snip it. I don't know what kind of snake it is, so we gotta no, be don't careful. We leave any snake alone like we leave any other animal out in the wilderness alone. Yes. I don't know what kind it is. The kind you leave alone. Yes. Can't see any over there. Come. Quiet Waters Park Trail Rules. We decide to go back along the dirt trails, but beforehand, we gotta feed the dogs some water. It is water time. They're panting. They're always panting. Ready? Want some gym water? They're all being so good Welcome. as if it's a treat. Nuala Shark's water. Mocha Shark's pets. What is Nubis Shark? Dirt and water. <laughs> Slobber all over her ear. Who slobbered on Nubis? Stepped on him. He blended in so well with the leaves. Quiet Waters also has an off-leash dog park, and we spend a little time tiring the pups out there. Good job, Nubis. Get her, Nubis. Good job, Nubis. Good girl. Go get her. Go get her. Go get her. Mocha, get her. My turn. See if I can get him excited. Come on, Mocha. You've had enough too. It's too slippery. Come on. Come on, good girl. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, 
I get that football up there? It's almost there. Yes, good girl. Oh, good girl, Lewis. Oh. Look, guys, a beach just for you. A dog beach. Beach just for you guys. You're not allowed to bring your own alcohol. Really? Since everybody's been so good and it's been so hot, I've got some frozen peanut butter in Kongs. You ready? All right, I'm gonna hand them out to everybody. One for each of you. Leave it. Leave it. Okay. in there, huh? That's going to be hard to lick out. I think you're getting some. How's Mocha doing? Mocha's, Mocha's trying his best to lick some out of there. How's Nubis doing? It was bound to happen. Our first major storm, bringing up to 35 mile per hour winds and lightning. We were quite protected at our anchorage in Harness Creek, and although the boat swayed from side to side with the winds, our anchor held. But it was quite a learning experience for us and we feel even more confident that we'll be able to handle similar situations. We leave our anchorage in Harness Creek and head west on the South River to Warehouse Creek. Once there, we plan to find a place to dock the dinghy so we can head into the town of Edgewater for some needed grocery items. Headed to Pier 7 Oyster Bar without the dogs because we could not find a restaurant that would take not only our dinghy but also our dogs. So we're going without them. Right. We had to anchor out because this place is so busy that we could not find a spot it's here. It's a very busy place. We were very close to Annapolis and it also seems to be a place where a lot of catamarans uh, hang out. So uh, anyway, it'll be a nice evening out without the dogs now. Some nice signage. Which part? The oh, pier, pier, waterfront, and grill. We're at uh, Pier Oyster Bar and Grill, enjoying some live music. We came out to the pier tonight, uh, get some music, and uh, have dinner. I got food with fries, so I'm very happy. <laughs> And I got my traditional marina fare, which is a fish sandwich and fries. They serve a lot of that in the marinas. Yep, and the uh, rain's kind of cleared out, and we're now actually getting some nice and cool weather, so it's a perfect night to get out. Good night.